Well, Matt, how do you sum up that end of the season at the Memorial Stadium, at least? Yeah, disappointed with the results um, and the first half. The, the fear with the first half as much as anything. Um, we didn't get close enough to, to man and ball often enough um, and gave them too much time and respect. Certainly in their, their deeper layers of the pitch and they were able to go through our team off the back of it. Um, poor goal to concede. Second half, I thought we forced more moments. Um, we're actually better with our tidy up play as well um, and better with our use of the ball. It just didn't materialise in the 18-yard the box. Did that really show how much you missed Chris Martin today as terms of that focal point? Possibly. Um, it would probably be in a different game with an out-and-out centre-forward on the pitch, but that, that's where we are at the moment. There's nothing we can do about that, that, that situation. So credit to Giovanni and then Maka to put themselves in, in that role and, and try and play it as best they could. Um, but in terms of probably the, the, the physicality, that was one thing which stood out for me today. They were able to not just wriggle out, just drive out of certain moments where we were, we were involved in and then all of a sudden they burst out of it. Um, I think there's a. I think we've said all along there's a real need for a slightly different profile or an added profile to this group. We've got some fantastic ball players, but speed, and pace, and power is another huge asset at this level. Um, and I think they had both the ball players and that today, which is why they're such a good team. Will that be a, a priority for you? Yeah, look, there's, there's various a lot of priorities, um, but that's certainly something we're looking at because we want a balanced squad. Um, you know, there's so many scenarios which are so strange. You know, going into the last couple of games with no recognised centre forward. Um, and that, that aspect of the balance of the squad. Um, I think it will help us in terms of what we're trying to recruit, but then we're, we're, we're trying to do that. We're trying to get towards something. Um, we need them in the building, and we need them in the building at the start of pre-season so we can work with them. How do you uh, rate Jordan Rossiter's in, introduction to the team? He's played three games now. He came off again after 50-odd minutes today. Is, is he done quite a lot to impress you? Oh, yeah, fantastic. Um, but his quality in his game's never been in doubt. Um, you don't play for Liverpool and Rangers clubs like that and have a career like he has if, if you've not got that quality and game ability. Um, the big question is, is can he move around the pitch like he, he used to do um, and, and not be sort of overrode with the pace of the game? And in the three games, I know for a shorter period than the 90 plus minute, he's certainly shown, shown that. Um, so hopefully he does it again for, for one more game. And then obviously, I know you're going to ask me the question, the discussions will start in terms of what our plan is for next season. What about Connor Taylor? Um, his day ended very quickly. Uh, yeah, um, one at the start, one at the end. Um, yeah, I can sense my frustration with it. Um, we're constantly losing players and big players. Connor Taylor in the first minute, Jack Hunt in the last minute. Um, a real shame, especially for Connor, because that was a game where we, at times, we wanted to be man for man at the back, and um, he certainly allows us to do that because he's got such good legs. Um, but also, he's a, a young player with a, a lot ahead of him. Um, so to pick up a hamstring injury in the first minute of the game, um, a real shame for all involved. That's obviously a season gone. I mean, you, I suppose you've got to hope that he's he can get back in pre-season for yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, that's if you get a, a serious enough injury at this stage of the season, then pre-season does come around pretty quickly. Um, well, well, he'll get a scan, um, he'll get read, we'll get a diagnosis, um, and then his rehab starts. Um, but, but a strange one for Connor because with all the hamstrings we've had, um, I don't think he's ever been one noted down for it. Uh, you were talking about negotiations and contracts and players and whatever else. I mean, has that started to an, to an, to an extent, even with the players that are in, in-house at the moment? Yeah, there's been a lot of planning, a lot of discussions, um, a lot of sorting out, in all honesty, what, what we've got, what we've got to spend, what the squad looks like, how many we can bring in. Um, and obviously those discussions will, will continue in the next couple of weeks um, and then there'll be a, a release, a retain list, um, and, and we'll see where it takes us. There's a big chunk um, in terms of the loan players, there's six loan players at the club, so that's a big chunk out of the squad straight away. And then there's a few out of contract who will to move on to, to passage new. So it always happens, but it does feel like a, an end of a big cycle um, this time around. And I don't think that's my doing in, in any way. Um, I think that's just uh, this time of year for this group of players at, at Bristol Rovers Football Club. Um, it, and then it puts a little bit more pressure on the amount we've got to bring in in pre-season. Um, but we're looking forward to that challenge. Um, it's one we're going to really attack and obviously we've got a fantastic team led by, by George and the boys behind us um, driving it. Have you ever overseen such a turnaround? Not to probably this extent, which is why it always worries you a little bit as a manager. Um, look, you, you get to the double figure mark and, and that's probably where you're most comfortable with once it gets to between 15 and 20. That, that's an awful lot of players and an awful lot of cost and expense and then there's risk with that because there's a little bit of unknown as much as you do your due diligence and the, get all the references and speak to so many coaches and teammates and interview players and speak to players and, and meet them face to face. There's always a little bit of risk involved and you never quite know will it materialise like your picture in your mind. Um, it doesn't stop us working towards that um, and seeing where it takes us.